So this is the 24 January 2019 build of the Havoc OS on the Redmi Note 3. And I have to say the ROM is pretty good as a daily driver already. And if you have been following me, you should know that this ROM is quite good in customizations. And it is one of the best in customizations if you consider like a lot of customizations in one single ROM. So in my opinion, this is one amazing ROM. But this latest build is having some kind of issues regarding like some problems with the UI and the problems are a little bit like kind of weird. So problem number one would be if you are watching a YouTube video for like more than half an hour, the phone really gets like super hot to the touch to the backside. And I have to say it's it's like literally annoying because I didn't have this kind of issues earlier with this ROM but right now it does get the device get a little more hot like with normal usage so that is kind of weird and if you are opening a lot of apps let me just show you if it might happen now or it might not so let me just open some of the apps and show you So as you can see even as of the RAM management it's not really good and a lot of apps keeps getting forced stopped in the background from like it gets removed from memory as you can see it just shows the white screen and stuff as you can see. So the RAM management is not quite good in this build in my opinion as you can see even Instagram is removed let's check YouTube. So it's removed too so you will have this kind of issues and over here as you just saw if i go to home now if i tap on this recent button it will just switch to another app and if i try to go home again if i do this as you can see it it just switches to another app if i go to home then tap on recents so this is kind of a weird bug and in these capacity button customizations i have set it to recents again but this problem keeps happening if I am in the home screen and a, a lot of apps opened in the background. If I tap on the recent button, it will just open the last app from memory. So that's a kind of weird bug as you can see. I am just tapping it once, not twice. So it acts like some kind of weird. So if I am in an app and if I tap on the recent button, it goes to the recent panel. So this is alright but if I do this from the home screen, it will just open the last app. So this is kind of a weird bug in my opinion. So now let's talk about the other things. The stock camera over here is the basic Google camera and it does take basic pictures but this ROM does have camera to API so you can install GC Mod 5 or Pixel 3 camera. If you want to use that or install Pixel 3 camera and stuff link will be in the description box below for that guide. Now let me just go into the settings first and let me show you the display settings. Over here as you can see we have the double tap to wake option over here and in terms of customizations this ROM is a beast. Let's go into the Havoc settings. Here as you can see we have a lot of customizations and you can have a lot of customizations over here. You have everything. Double tap to sleep on the status bar and even brightness control from the status bar like swiping like this works fine. So you don't need to worry at all regarding these customizations. Quick pull down, like smart pull down, etc., are there. Clock settings are there. You can change whatever you want. You can even change the clock size as you can see from here. And even like color of the clock. And lot of customizations are present over here. And network traffic indicator and stuff is there. Volty does work fine. You don't need to worry. Let me place a call and show you the in call UI. So as you can see, this is the in-call UI and you do get the recording call and the video call option. So Geo 4G Vaulty calling does work super fine, even in the second SIM slot by the way. Now let me go back and inside interface you have a lot of like good customizations. Here you will have this UI style option, pixel AOSP option and background color changing option is there, light, dark and black options are there for background color. You can even change the notification color individually. Accent color changing option is there and you have this material palette colors and even user requested colors. A lot, there are a lot of colors in my opinion. 
and over here you can even change this quick setting like header style and you can change this to like blue over here like it will be based on the accent color you are using or you can choose it to black gray light gray transparent etc and quick setting tiles are there as you can see from here you can change the quick setting tile styles if i change it to square meadow and let me just show you so as you can see it did change the quick toggle style to square meadow and it looks pretty dope so you have a lot of customizations over here you can even have this font customizations and there are a lot of fonts this is like most amazing feature over here and you get a lot of fonts which you do not get in most custom roms even in resurrection remix there are fonts option but there are not this many fonts here you will get plethora of font options so you can choose from those now over here we have some more stuff like switch appearance so this switch appearance kind of thing looks like oneplus over here or you can set it to material design 2 or even default option is there now in terms of gestures you do get this like full screen gesture and stuff over here here as you can see we have the edge gesture option over here if you want to use the full screen gestures you can use this swipe to take a screenshot is there so that you can just swipe three fingers to take a screenshot and it does work super fine as you just saw let me just go back inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep media cover art etc stuff clock font size and stuff you can change it even date font style you can change it too and even weather option and stuff is there if you want to use that and over here you will get this face auto unlock and always use fingerprint unlock so these features are there face auto unlock does work fine over here lock screen charging info is there as you can see so it, it can show you the stats of the charging and inside notifications you can have this like notification LED customization and stuff and what else we have the heads up disabling option of course here as you can see notification ticker is there vibrate like in call vibration options are there and one more good thing over here is inside miscellaneous you will find this usb configuration so that you can change the micro usb like whenever you plug your micro usb with the pc it will choose to like file transfer you can change it from here and wake up on charge option disabling is there and what else inside advanced controls from here inside miscellaneous you will get this vibrator intensity control and you can like lower the intensity if you feel that this intensity of the vibration of the haptic feedback is like harsh you can change it from here from this like miscellaneous advanced controls so this is pretty cool in my opinion and you can even like customize the screen colors from here you can really control the rgb of the screen and you can even control the saturation screen hue value and contrast itself let me just go back and show you the sound settings from here you can have this like uh, touch sounds touch vibration etc option and what else we even have this charging vibration option so if you like feel that whenever you plug your charger it's annoying you can disable that so i disabled it it's pretty cool and now let me quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed so as you can see from here it's not really fast it's pretty slow if you consider other roms this fingerprint scanner unlocking speed is pretty slow and talking about the stock launcher one thing i hate or two things you can call about this launcher the stock launcher over here if you like pull down from anywhere on the home screen it does not get you the quick settings panel or the quick toggles and if you go into home screen settings this is a basic launcher as you can see from here it just says like this is the pixel launcher basic pixel launcher and it does not have really much of customizations so but it does have the google now cards but you do not get something like the double tap to sleep and stuff so you have to keep that in mind and google assistant and stuff is working fine like right from this launcher as you can see so it just works and over here let me go into the system quickly and we even have this system updater so you can check for ot updates over here and inside about phone let's go to android version here it shows that android version is 9 android pi let's go back so this is based on the eskrima kernel of course so havoc version as you can see this is the havoc os logo on top from havoc version and this is the version 2.1 build date is 24 january 2019 official build 
So in my opinion this ROM is running pretty fine even the security patches and stuff of January 5th 2019 latest one so you don't need to worry but like Google Pay is not really working it just shows that Google Pay like can't be used on this device so for the fix of that you can just go to the settings and like disable phone and SMS app permission from the Google Pay services then you can select or set up the Google Pay so you don't need to worry like really much about google pay if you are really into it you can do that so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give this a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now